462 dual channel micro syringe pump installation and operation video. 1. Unboxing and accessories display of Check the packing carefully before opening the box. If you find any broken seals, crushed box, etc., please contact reward as soon as possible. If the package is intact, you can remove all the equipment components. Please save the box with packing materials for packing and transport. The accessories contained in the package are Host, Allen Key, Cleaning Brush, Power Adapter, Power Cable, Packing List and Certificate of Conformity, User Manual, Micro Syringe, Optional, 2. Introduction of interfaces and structures Power input 24 volt 3 amp power supply needs to be connected for power supply BNC1 and BNC2 interface for communication with other deceased USB-B interface is pre-reserved for communication with a PC RS485 in and RS485 out for receiving and sending signals for pump-to-pump -pump communication the 15-pin D-Sub is used to interact with external devices. Locking nut, lock up the push-pull fixation clamp. Push-pull fixation clamp, they are used to fix the end of the syringe rod and the tail of the syringe barrel respectively. V-shaped groove, fix the body of the syringe. Propulsion slider, push, pull the piston rod of the syringe. Spacing ring. Limit the movement of the propulsion slider in a safe position. Slider locking knob. Lock up or release propulsion slider. Display screen. Display the operation interface. Power switch. Turn the device on or off. 3. Introduction of the software. Connect the power cord. Press the power switch to start the device. The system initializes and then automatically enters the main interface. Click on the black box. You can go to the syringe specifications page. In this interface, the user can select a preset syringe size by clicking on select syringe. Alternatively, if the syringe used is not included in the default branding, you can also manually set the size and inner diameter of the syringe used according to your personal needs. When the users have finished inputting the settings, click on Save as to save the settings and name them for easy recall later. The system defaults to the constant mode interface. Click Constant Mode. You can enter the following interface to switch to select the other three modes. In constant mode, the device operates with constant parameters and can be operated with infusion, withdrawal, infusion followed by withdrawal or withdrawal followed by infusion. And the user sets the infusion rate and volume, the withdrawal rate and volume, withdrawal rate and volume. In pulse mode, the device runs the infusion and withdrawal program in multiple cycles and the user sets the infusion speed, the withdrawal speed and the number of cycles. In ramp mode, the device continuously accelerates the infusion at a constant acceleration and the user sets the start and end speeds of the syringe pump operation. In program mode, the device runs according to a set of custom programs, which need to be selected or added by clicking Add. Users can select seven types of steps, constant, ramp, repeat, delay, signal, in, signal, out, and stop. Select the step type and set the parameters. After setting, Click back to return to the program screen. Click move up or move down to reorder the steps.
click copy to copy the steps. After editing, users can click save as to save it in the device. It can be recalled in the select program. Save it and call it up in the select program. After selecting the mode and entering the parameters, you can click run to enter the infusion interface. Users can see the program running in the infusion screen. Users can also click pause or top to control the program. Users can click lock screen to prevent accidental touch. Click menu in the upper left corner to enter the menu interface. The syringe management interface allows users to manage custom syringes. Syringe names and specifications can be added. It is also available to copy or delete existing syringe specifications. In the program management screen, custom programs can be managed. Users can add new programs and copy or delete existing programs. Maximum thrust, screen brightness, auto lock and auto statement time and switching system language can be set in the system settings. The date and time interface allows users to set the date, time and the display format of each. System maintenance is for maintenance personnel only. 4. Introduction of the operation process. According to the infusion target, Select the appropriate syringe size, install the syringe to the device. The video is demonstrated with an application scenario of cannula drug delivery. Materials needed for cannula delivery include syringes, reuse of the syringes or disposable syringes, adapter required when using disposable syringes, cannula, mineral oil, PU tube, Connect PU tube and internal cannula. In order to avoid air bubbles, when injecting, it is necessary to fill the poo tube and the inner injection tube with mineral oil. You can use a disposable syringe from the other end of the poo tube to fill the mineral oil manually at an even speed. Until the mineral oil bubbles out from the tip of the inner canal, it is necessary to ensure that there are no air bubbles in the poo tube. If so, it is recommended to refill. Connect the poo tube and syringe tip. If a disposable syringe is selected for infusion, attach the adapter to the disposable syringe before connecting the poo tube, as shown in the video. Install syringe to syringe pump. Attach the syringe to the instrument. Lift the syringe retaining clip. Place the syringe into the V-shaped groove. Lower the retaining clip and clamp the syringe. Loosen the slider locking knob so that the slider can be pushed. Move the advanced slider according to the syringe position. Loosen the locking nut. Adjust the position of the locking nut. Snap the syringe into the push-pull retaining clip and lock it tightly. Lock slide locking knob. According to the selected syringe, Select the preset syringe specifications, manufacturer information. If there is no counterpart, it can be customized. Select the mode of infusion as required. Cannula administration requires the withdrawal of the drug before infusion. Select constant mode, withdrawal 5 microliters of injection volume. It is recommended that you can withdraw a little more than the target injection volume, for example, 6 microliters. Set the withdrawal rate to 2 microliters per minute, according to the customer's own drug delivery needs. Set the injection rate, for example, 1 microliter per minute for a volume of 5 microliters. Place the drug at the end of the inner cannula and click the run and click the run button at the top left of the interface to start the syringe pump. 
In the run interface, the direction of infusion or withdrawal of the syringe can be visualized, as well as the injected, withdrawn volume, the remaining volume, and the brand, specification, inner diameter and other parameters of the selected syringe. Click stop to finish the program.